That was a great session. Thank you so much, Rob and Barnum. Now let's dive deep into declarative agents. Microsoft 365 Copilot needs no introduction at this point. We all know it's the ultimate AI assistance for Microsoft 365. And most of you uh, have seen this slide. Microsoft 365 Copilot has four components, large language model, the internet, Microsoft Graph, and Microsoft 365 apps. However, its broad capabilities can sometimes feel too general when you need a more tailored experience. Understanding that every business is unique, we have Copilot agents to offer a tailored Copilot experience for your specific and distinctive business processes. Now let's look at what makes up an agent. Here's the anatomy of a Copilot agent. We'll start from the bottom. Foundation models are AI models that can perform a wide range of tasks like language processing, visual comprehension, text generation, etc. Orchestrator oversees and synchronizes pre and post processing of the user prompts. Knowledge is the information Copilot can reason over to answer user prompts like RAG and other information. Skills are tasks that Copilot can perform on your behalf, like getting real time data from an API. Triggers help Copilot take reactive, proactive actions and facilitate automation. And instructions, it will show you how Copilot should behave, its scope, and its functionalities. Agents look and function like Copilot, but they tailor the experience to a specific use case. They focus on the data that's applicable for your business needs. And this data can be inside or outside of Microsoft 365. And they can be equipped with skills like calling your APIs, sending emails, etc. Now imagine a HR agent that specializes in human resource data and tasks. It would be your personal assistant for all your HR related inquiries. While using the AI assistant, you could ask your HR agent something like compare employees turnover rates between departments over the past year or show me the upcoming schedule for staff training programs. Now, there are two main options for adding agents to Copilot, declarative agent and custom engine agents. We will cover custom engine agents a bit later, but uh, today in this session, we will focus on declarative agents. Declarative agents effectively layer on your custom instruction on top of the baseline of Microsoft 365 Copilot to behave as specialists. The advantage of declarative agents is a simplicity in development and quicker time to market compared to a fully custom solution. So you've already paid the license for Microsoft 365 Copilot. No, you don't need to provide an LLM or develop an orchestration code or, uh, and you could have rich integration to present your application across Microsoft 365 Copilot. And you also have out of the box grounding in Microsoft 365 content. And you could also connect your external API. With that understanding of declarative agents, let's see a demo of how to build one from scratch using pro developer tools. So I will hand it over to my colleague, Bob German. Thanks, Rabia. Uh, let me take a minute now and show you how we develop a declarative agent in using Teams Toolkit for Visual Studio Code. So I've already installed Teams Toolkit here. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and create a new app. And um, I'm going to get prompted and I'll pick Copilot Agent. I want a declarative agent without a plugin. We'll see those later. And I need to decide where I want to put this on my uh, on my local storage drive. And uh, let's just call this test agent. And Teams Toolkit's going to generate the project for me and bring up a new instance of Visual Studio Code. So um, this is kind of ready to go, but I'm going to just show you a couple things. Let me go into the manifest. This manifest file is kind of standard in all Microsoft 365 applications. And uh, what we have here is a pointer to the declarative agent file. The declarative agent file is just a JSON file. So if you know how to edit a JSON file, you can build these um, without really a whole ton of additional training. It's amazingly simple. So um, you can see that there's a name and a description, and there's a pointer to some instructions. 
And if we look at the instructions, the sort of of out-of-the-box instructions are just going to say, to be nice, I'm going to add, if anybody mentions camping, please suggest that they go to Copilot Developer Camp, of course. We have to put in a little plug for ourselves. And that's it. So it's just natural language. It doesn't even have to be English. Whatever your native language is will work here. And so I'm going to go ahead and um, click the provision button. Now, you might think that I should be clicking the debug button, but there's no imperative code to debug. Right, everything is inside of. That's why they call it a declarative copilot. Right, everything is declarative. So now, if I go into copilot, having deployed it or provisioned it, um, I can open up the side panel, and that's where the agents live. I should see my test agent. There it is, and I'm just going to go ahead and use one of the standard uh, uh, prompt suggestions because I didn't add any of those to my uh, declarative agent file, and what I get is a a nice polite mention of Teams Toolkit, and so let's try the uh, let's try that special prompt. Uh, I want to go camping, and it's going to say, "Hey, uh, thanks for using Teams Toolkit. It sounds like a great idea. Camping is a wonderful way. Have you considered attending Copilot Developer Camp? Right? So, isn't that perfect? So, but this is just the beginning. What you're seeing is simply instructions, so basically uh, prompt augmentation that's built in. Where it gets really powerful is when we use capabilities to bring specific focused Microsoft 365 content into your agent and, and actions where we use a normal REST API uh, to take action and to pull in data that you have in your applications outside of Copilot. If you want to see more about that, just stay tuned because Waldeck MasterCards and Gary Trinder are going to go deep on that in just a few minutes. Meanwhile, let me show you Copilot Camp or Copilot Developer Camp. This is a website where you can actually build all of this yourself. So, well, um, an announcement for this broadcast, of course. We have videos including... The original, this is the Wave 2 Copilot announcement from Jared Spataro and Satya Nadella. We have briefings on all the different types of agents. And then the Pace de Resistance is the hands-on labs. You can learn to build declarative agents, build an API, add the declarative agent, enhance it, add adaptive cards, and even add enter ID authentication step-by-step -step in these hands-on labs. And there's another whole set for building your own agent, which you'll also hear more about that from Aichabash a little bit later in this broadcast. And there's more videos. And then if you scroll down a bit, you'll find Copilot Camp in a box where we have um, slides that you can download. If you want to do an in-person Copilot developer camp for your community, we would absolutely love that. Some of these decks have embedded video slides to make it really easy for you. We have discussions, and we, there are even more um, labs on Microsoft Learn that are coming along every day, um, and so we have pointers to that. So I'm really pleased to uh, introduce you to our, the Copilot Camp virtual workshop, and I hope you'll join us. So please visit aka.ms slash Copilot Dev Camp to dig into all this great content. But before you do that, I want to introduce the amazing Donna Sarkar and Jeremy Fake. I'm sure you've seen them in the conference circuit before. They're both world famous and extremely deep technically. They're going to talk about the future of declarative agents. So let's go.